Hi everyone, this is Amy Balliet coming to you for Creative Pro. I'm here to offer up a sneak peek of one of my upcoming sessions at Creative Pro Week, which is happening in Washington, D.C. and online this July 8th to the 12th. In my session, I'll be providing a detailed AI roadmap to help you navigate the untamed lands of AI, to forge new paths of design innovation, and to harness the power of AI throughout the creative process. But to follow me on this journey, we first need to overcome one of the largest barriers to entry in this new world, maintaining design consistency in AI. You see, many designers hesitate to incorporate AI into their workflow due to the fear of disrupting an already established visual language or introducing unexpected design variations that may deviate from the desired brand identity. So, to help you forge your own path in the world of AI-driven design, today I'm going to show you how to overcome this barrier to entry by using Midjourney's style references. In the interest of exploration and discovery, let's use these vintage Mars travel posters that my company, Killer Visual Strategies, designed for SpaceX in 2015. Now let's assume that I want to create a series of complementary images to leverage this theme for my upcoming Creative Pro session. With these images in hand, we'll first need to upload them to Midjourney using Discord. This allows us to get URL paths to each image for Discord to reference. Simply hit the plus button to start the upload. Once the images appear on the screen, hit return on your keyboard. Now, I should note that hitting return doesn't feel like an intuitive next step. The images look like they were uploaded already, and nothing prompts you to hit return and finalize the upload. But if you don't hit return, the URL paths to the image return a 404 error and stop the style reference prompt from working. So be sure to hit return and watch the upload sequence complete before you move to the next step. Once your images are uploaded, right click on each to either open them in a new tab or directly copy their image address. Because I'm using four inspiration images, I prefer to open each in a new tab so that I can easily reference them. This will come in handy when we get to step six, refining your aesthetic with prompt weights. With your reference image URLs identified, now it's time to write your first prompt. Type slash imagine and the prompt box will appear. Prompting in AI has become far easier than it was even six months ago. Where extensive details were once needed, I can now accomplish my goals with just a couple of sentences. Once your prompt is written, type in dash dash S R E F or S ref and paste in each URL for your reference images leaving a single space between each URL. If you would like to add other parameters to your prompt, place them after your final URL. For example, I'm making these images for my Creative Pro presentation deck, so I want to keep them in an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. When you're happy with your prompt, hit enter and watch the magic happen. While the four SpaceX posters were part of the same series, I know that three separate designers on my team produced them. Because of this, I can see subtle style differences that may impact a cohesive final aesthetic if Midjourney treats each image equally. Luckily, we can further refine the aesthetic by adding prompt weights to each reference image. To do this, we'll take advantage of Midjourney's double colon parameter. A double colon is used to separate prompts into different parts and assign a score of importance to the information leading up to the double colon. For example, if I type double colon one immediately after one URL and double colon five immediately after another, Midjourney will treat the URL with a score of one as being less important or less influential in the overall style reference than the URL with a score of five. Check out the results when we weight the reference images in this way. And there you have it, a foolproof way to ensure style consistency across all of your AI-driven design. 
Now you just saw me create the first of many slides for my upcoming AI Roadmap session for Creative Pro Week. To see how I use AI to bring this style to life consistently across the entire deck, be sure to join me at Creative Pro Week, July 8th to the 12th in Washington, DC and online. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.